So I've just been kind of bumping it up a uh, hundred or two hundred degrees at a time and letting it age a little bit. We're at sixteen hundred right now. I just got the thermocouple in the top of the furnace, measuring the furnace temperature there at the top just under the lid. The electrical connections are just kind of temporarily wire nutted up there. We got the cord itself just draped over the con controller, try to keep it out of the way. I'll pull it up to 1800 degrees here. Let it uh, stabilize a little while at uh, 1800. And then drop in a few little chunks of aluminum. I've got a chunk of Schedule 80, 3 inch diameter Schedule 80 pipe in there I welded a cap on for a little steel crucible. Otherwise, there isn't any load in the furnace. Other than that, it's just empty. First time to 1800 Fahrenheit here, kind of the maiden voyage for it. We'll get the set point there. 1800, get both coils active. And let's see, we got 35 amps. We got 8.2 kilowatts worth of power. And the temperature's on the rise. We'll see how long it takes to gain a couple hundred degrees here. Shouldn't be too much of a task with no load in there. Looks like it's crawling up a couple degrees a second or so. Let's see if it converges on 1800. Not sure what that little alarm one light in the top left hand corner is for. I don't remember having anything set there, but it must just be a default value. But both coils are active. Ramping right up. Let's see where it lands here. Crawling right up there. That energy in the top right hand corner, 9.2 kilowatt hours. That's just how much energy I've used since I started the burn-in process. It's probably got seven hours of runtime, but because of the duty cycle of the coils, it's not going to be very many kilowatt hours. So I am not haven't even spent a dollar's worth of electricity yet, 80 cents or so, 90 cents worth of electricity. And looks like it's settled in. I'll go back to just one coil here. We'll let it just age there for a little while and stabilize and then we'll drop a little metal in.